The discovery of DNA this year will be 60 years old. And what's great about uh, the current time in medicine is that finally, in the, just in the past decade or so, tests have been developed from that technical knowledge that can assist doctors in making diagnosis. Let me give you a few scenarios. You're the resident physician at a hospital. The patient is presenting symptoms of a respiratory condition. You've got to decide with the limited resources in your hospital, do you need to isolate that patient because they may have MRSA, TB, and use one of your isolation rooms for that purpose to make sure that the disease doesn't spread to other patients and you have a scourge of hospital-acquired infections in your ward. Give you another scenario. Patient undergoes a mammogram. Doctors disagree about the diagnosis. One doctor believes it could be malignant tumor. Another believes it's benign. The test is inconclusive. Both of those situations are situations that now can be aided by molecular tests not always previously available that are far more effective than traditional testing for certain purposes. This is an interesting market because many firms, our own included, have made bold predictions only to be proven wrong but sometimes slightly wrong. We, for instance, had predicted in the past that perhaps all of the tests for infectious disease, the very common tests that are performed for, say, TB or various uh, sexually transmitted diseases in clinics and labs, would be replaced by molecular testing, all of it. That obviously hasn't proven true over the years, but these tests have grown, shown promise, and more competitors are in the industry. Our approach is very, uh, very comprehensive. First thing that we're going to do is search hundreds of company annual reports, press releases, interviews with significant trade magazines. We're going to then scour the medical journals, government reports that are relevant for this industry. And we're going to put that together with some primary interviews of executives in industries, conversations that we have at various trade shows with representatives, marketing directors at various companies who are selling in molecular diagnostics. But most importantly, we're going to take all of that data and have it interpreted by an analyst who has decades of experience in diagnostics. You're going to get a reasonable assessment of what we're going to see in the next five years in this report, in addition to looking at who are the competitors now. And there are hundreds of competitors in molecular diagnostics which are profiled in our report. 